Right. It's saying it's just preparing to, to live stream it. So let's uh, let's get started. This uh, this should be live in just uh, a few seconds. Here we go. Okay. Well, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining our live stream here today as we kick off our One Million Worlds campaign with this kickoff webinar. I'm CK. I look after partnership affiliation here at Covalent. I'm super excited to be joined here with Brandon from RSK. This edition of One Million Worlds is running in partnership with RSK. And the goal of this webinar is to talk a little bit about the campaign, its purpose, and also walk through some of the developer uh, resources that are available to you. So we will take a look at some of our documentation built on RSK's end and on Covalent's end, and we will see if we have some time left for some Q&A at the end. But we got Brandon, who is the head of uh, developer experience. He's been part of the RSK team for quite uh, some right. time now. And uh, I'll pass it over to Brandon to give us an introduction. Brandon, take us away, please. Hi, everyone. Yeah, um, yeah, so uh, RSK is, uh, is, is, a, is a blockchain that's a layer two solution um, where the layer one is, uh, is Bitcoin. And it also is highly compatible with uh, Ethereum um, from a development point of view. So uh, it works with all of the tools that you're familiar with um, as, as Dapp developers. So for example, Solidity Toolchain with Solsi, so on and so forth. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool. So uh, we can start off at onemillionwalls.com. And essentially when you come here and this, you will see our current event which is one million walls uh, hackathon. So you just click here, you go to the web page. So this is basically your go to web page. What's really exciting about one million walls is it's meant to be uh, inclusive for everyone. So if you're a web two developer and you want to explore web three technologies, it's a great opportunity for you to explore the tools that are available to you and see what you can build. Generally with hackathons, they're geared towards uh, developers, but what we did here with One Million Walls is we provided both sort of hackathon challenges as well as what we call our commit challenges. That enables those who are developers to be included in this uh, campaign. So when I mean uh, commit challenges is we have wall quests and these are top provoking puzzles. We also have templated uh, wall quests. So th these are where you can just simply click a few buttons to see a response from our API. We also have our NFT art challenges as well as daily quizzes. So there are other ways for general public to be involved. And with respect to Hackathon itself, uh, the idea here is to empower build, uh, empower people to build out world interfaces. We run this a few times uh, with a few different partners. And what we've seen here is we got participants who are continuously building and iterating over their projects. Ideally, what we want to see is uh, a prototype and alpha stage product that's coming out from these hackathons. So that can be further out to build support additional networks since our focus is on the multi chain. We are doing this hackathon because we believe in a multi chain future. So we encourage uh, projects to build on RSK and let their project go multi chain, but also take it another level and get some additional funding or sponsorship. We have seen some potential uh, for some projects to become fully pledged standalone projects. I'll show you some of them right now, actually. Yeah, and, and I might want to add a little bit to that. Uh, we're pretty excited uh, to have a, a, a lot of co-sponsors. Uh, the ones you see in screen right now, Sovereign, Money on Chain, Tropicus, Babblefish, and Transfero. They're all projects that are built on the RSK network. And, uh, and yeah, we're, we're excited that all of them are co-sponsoring. So in addition to the main uh, hackathon bounties, there will also be specific bounties provided by each of these, um, each of these products or, or protocols. Yeah. Cool. yeah thank you for uh, enlightening us about this as well. And actually, uh, when I said Sovereign, we're going to show you a project that was built in the hackathon with Sovereign and Bitcoin. So this dashboard uh, is also powered by Covalent. This is a very powerful tool. We can build a visualization tools and charts like this with Covalent and with a uh, few endpoints. And this will be our third uh, project showcase. 
And the second one will be a read-only wallet. So this was also built uh, using Covalent API endpoints. So essentially, this is a read-only wallet. So when, uh, when you provide an RSK wallet address, it will show you all the assets allocated uh, within this wallet. And also, it shows you the swaps associated with the given address. So these are really cool things we, we can build with uh, Covalent. And yeah, this is very exciting. Uh, we want to foster and nurture more of these uh, projects and become part of their success stories. And let me go back to our One Million Walls page, actually, to show you the resources that are available to you. So we have our API doc docs, which I will show you in a second after I show you our demo. We have links to our code templates. These are essentially a snippet of code with a very simple uh, front end. So you can see what a vault interface will look like. And we also have our tutorials. These are our uh, how to guys, uh, with, essentially. You can do some analysis uh, with some guidance through our cookbook. We got all these resources published in our knowledge base here. And we also have uh, our supported networks. We uh, provide details around RSK. You can uh, go to their web page. You can go to their uh, block explorer and uh, their API documentation. One thing that's really exciting here is we provide uh, both the mainnet uh, chain ID and testnet chain ID. And essentially, this is what you're going to be using most of the times for our uh, challenges. But before I take it uh, further, let me quickly show you our demo. So I really like this demo because it lets you both uh, read and write in blockchain. I'll show you what I mean by that. So when you come here and click on create wallet, you're creating a new data point and the blockchain itself, which is immutable. So it's going to be there forever. So essentially you're writing in blockchain when, you, when you're creating a wallet. I already created mine. So I mean, let me just jump into what it looks like. So when you create your wallet, this will be the page that it will take you. So if you have an active RSK uh, address, you can transfer uh, assets to this wallet, and then you can transfer back your main address by just click. There's a transfer button, a request transfer button here. You just click on here, and then you will transfer the assets that you transferred to the wallet that you just created uh, back to your original wallet. If you want, you can uh, claim test tokens by clicking on this link, it will take you to the Fawcett website. You can claim your test RBTC there. I've done that too, so I will show you what it looks like on our dashboard. This will be the uh, writing part in the blockchain, and I'll show you how to read. So when you come to this dashboard, you select your network. I'm going to choose a uh, test net because I sent test RBTC token to this uh, world address. When you click on get world data on any RSK world, it will show you all the Assets that are associated with this address and all the transfers. So I recently sent test RBTC here, so it will show up it uh, here in our balances. So uh, this is actually really cool uh, that you can build this with few endpoints, a few covalent endpoints, and this is a very simple uh, front end UI for you. Also, if you want, you can uh, simply come here and click the code button. And it will take you to our replit. So essentially, uh, you can use this as a starting point for your project. You can fork it, and it will take you to a new uh, repository. This is a very basic front end. And, and yeah, it's all there for you to use it, essentially, for your project. And that'll be it for our demo. But before I take it further, uh, Berlin, would you like to walk us through the developer documentation on RSKs and so we can show what's going on behind the scenes to our audience? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but before we do that, I just wanted to say something about the hackathon overall. Like, uh, so this this hackathon uh, isn't just a hackathon. It also has uh, challenges and quests. So I think uh, it, it's actually pretty fun. Uh, so if you want to build a project with all of the bounties, you know, you sort it out there. But 
if you if you wanted to like create some art that is themed around this hackathon or uh, you know just use a wallet and you get a badge for it that kind of thing um, there's lots of fun stuff to do and I've seen a preview of it so I'm I'm really looking forward to everyone trying that uh, trying those out even if uh, you know you might say I'm not a developer you know I don't know how to write code like it really uh, is accessible to everyone so we're really excited about that part as well um yeah okay so we can go to the rsk uh, developer docs if you want uh it's developers.rsk.co you want to just bring that up yeah developers.rsk.co yeah okay yeah so uh <laughs> this site is where you'll find all of the information um about rsk uh, if you just look at the the menu, uh, the navigation menu in the left, uh, you'll see RSK, which is the blockchain itself. You'll see RIF, which is the RSK infrastructure framework. Um, and then under knowledge base, guides, and develop, and tools, you'll find a lot of technical information there. Um, and if you click on solutions, you can, uh, somewhere down at the bottom, you've got Kotlin. Yeah, so uh, Kotlin has just recently integrated with us, like about uh, one or two months ago, thereabouts. And we're pretty excited to be already doing a hackathon um, with all of you. Uh, yeah, it, it's great. It, this this community looks like it's uh, ready to go. Um, and we're, we're keen to see all of the uh, awesome projects that uh, are going to be built. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for walking us through. The, uh, the developer documentation. Let me quickly go back. Yeah, and uh, just, I'll just add as well that um, I am uh, I'm on both the RSK uh, Slack, uh, if, if you're already on there, or the Kotlin Discord, and my username on both is this, BGUIZ. Um, yeah, so come and chat to me there if you have any questions about uh, anything to do with the RSK. Sure. All right, thank you, Brandon. So let me uh, go to our API docs. So we categorize our API as class A and class B endpoints. Class A endpoints applies to all the networks that we support. It pulls uh, granular and historical data around balances, transactions, and log events. And uh, all these class A endpoints are available to you uh, for RSK. All you need to do is just use 34 main and 34 for testnet. So let me quickly show some of these endpoints. So we have get token balances uh, for any given address. Actually, this is what we use uh, for our demo as well. So you can get uh, all the token balances associated with any address of your choice in RSK mainnet. You can get historical trend of portfolio value over time. You can get transactions. Again, this is what we use for our demo. You can get log events. You can get details around NFTs, and you can get all the token holders of a specific token in the uh, RSK network. So these are essentially really powerful endpoints, and each one of these on its own, uh, in fact, can be a feature in a world interface. So you can definitely uh, use more than one of these uh, endpoints. And that'll be a very high overview of our class A endpoints. For class B, they're uh, protocol specific. So uh, not all of the, these endpoints will be available to you uh, for all the networks that we support. And unfortunately- Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll mention something about class B endpoints. So uh, because Kotlin has just recently, very recently integrated with RSK, uh, we actually do not have any class B endpoints at the moment, but that's the fun part. If if you stick around for after this kickoff session for the next session, which will be done by Brandon Roshan from Kotlin, he's going to take you through the SQL stream, and uh, and that will be extremely useful to build your own class B endpoint. And sneak peek, that is going to be one of the bounties. Back to you. Amazing. Yeah, you. I, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, thank you so much for enlightening us again. Uh, let me quickly go to the events calendar here and go through what's happening in the over the next two weeks. So this is basically our go-to schedule. Uh, after this event, we have 
as Brandon said, we have Brandon uh, doing a kickoff webinar on SQL and how to, uh, pro he's going to provide show, uh, showcases for uh, RSK and SQL and how to use Coelan and all together. So uh, that would be one. And after that, we have our sponsor, uh, sponsor presentations for our sponsors to discuss their bounties and possible use cases. We have a fireside chat with our CEO, Ganesh. And then every week, we also host what we call our office hours. It's a great way for you to reach out uh, if you have any questions, if you want to toss around ideas and get our feedback. Uh, you can just go to our Discord and feel free to toss out any questions you want. So let me just quickly talk about the hackathon itself. So what we have here is uh, we classify it as three tracks. We have new builds. So these are essential projects submitted from scratch during this hackathon. And uh, because of the effort we provide uh, for a new build, these projects are eligible for the larger prize pool. On the second track, we have technical improvements. So what we see here is folks uh, participated in previous 1 million walls campaigns working on their projects and improving their UI. So it can be adding RSK and let their project go multi-chain or changing some of the features of the UI. So that's a second track for uh, our previous participants and to our previous hackathons. Our third track is our newest track. It's going to be led by Brandon. It's, we're calling out all the data folks here. So if you're interested in building dashboards, charts, and other visualization tools using Coil and API and RSK, this will be your go-to track. And we have prizes here. So on top of what we are providing with Co uh, RSK, which is up to $10,000 uh, equivalent in tokens, we have our sponsors providing bounties. And you, you can become eligible to these bounties if you use their interface or provide uh, utility to their network. And we have a couple of project ideas for you to actually uh, refer back to when you're building your projects. Uh, what we what we will, what we love to see is folks building uh, stuff outside of what we present to them. But if you're having trouble getting started, uh, you can come here and just check these ideas. Also, you can consult our knowledge base. We have uh, some of the projects that were built in uh, pure hackathons shown here. So these are the categories that you can uh, you refer back to when you're building your project. And you can use these uh, projects as an inspiration for your own. And that'll be it. That'll be a quick rundown of our uh, project ideas. So, so, so just before you do that, yeah, I was going to say, if you scroll down, we've actually got the details for each of the, the sponsor uh, bounties. So to be eligible for each of the sponsor prizes, they've basically outlined what they would like to see. Um, sometimes it's just like a, a feature that you can add to your to a, your wallet build. Um, sometimes it's a you know a, a list of questions they want answered in, in a form of a dashboard or some visualization. So have a look at uh, what each of the sponsors have outlined to be sort of um, eligible for their particular bounty prize on top of what RSK and Covalent are are offering. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so awesome. They, these are your criteria essentially, when you're building your project. And yeah. one last thing about the hackathon that I want to mention here, uh, please uh, definitely join our Discord channel, since this is where we'll be uh, providing our office hours. And there's a community of developers there, so you can toss around ideas uh, throughout the hackathon. And that'll be an overview of our hackathon itself. Let me talk about some of the community challenges we have. So as Brandon mentioned, we have uh, daily trivia and FTR challenges. So daily trivia will, trivia will be uh, we are will be throwing out trivia questions uh, throughout the day. These are meant to engage people details around Covalent and RSK. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy, nothing to subscribe to. Uh, but it's a really nice way for you to engage with our communities. Next one will just, be. Just one more thing, uh, just to, to add to this. For our community challenges, what's really exciting is we, this is the first time we're actually running these challenges in uh, a bunch of different uh, sort of localizations. So I believe we've got eight different localizations, everything from Spanish, Arabic, um, Italian, French. And so the community challenges that, uh, that Kamberg is going through right now 
um, we'll actually have them offered uh, in the regional uh, localizations on, on Discord. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be really exciting. Yes, as Harry said, you can uh, change the language of the website by just adding a language code here. So if it's French, you can just add FR. If it's Vietnamese, you can add VI. And this is how you can, uh, like this web page is uh, provided to you in eight different languages. And if if you can't find your language uh, here, we have a very diversified uh, community in our Discord channel. So again, you can just consult them and they can uh, navigate you throughout the hackathon. And as for the community channels, our second challenge uh, will be NFT art challenge. So we are calling out all the NFT artists here to come up with their best NFT design. And the best NFT design will be awarded to our hackathon winners. So that's a really fun way to engage uh, with our hackathon as well. And we have wallet quests. As I mentioned earlier, these are uh, top provoking puzzles with uh, encrypted and encoded messages. So uh, essentially you need to uh, solve a few steps to unlock a URL where you'll be, uh, when you click on the URL, you'll be taken to a room and you'll be asked to solve a puzzle. So nothing really uh, here is required to know programming or like to be a developer. Uh, these are just a fun way for you to en uh, engage with our uh, one million models campaign. And lastly, we have our template wall challenges. So here we uh, provide snippets of code. Uh, some of them require just a little bit of programming, but nothing too crazy here that requires you to be a developer or anything like that. And we got our first one here, our scale wallet. So uh, you can go through the challenges here and uh, get yourself familiar with our wall interfaces. So yeah, that'll be an overview of our 1 million walls campaign, as I mentioned earlier, we'll be providing this web page in eight different languages. And yeah, uh, to summarize what we just talked about, uh, we, we talk about our hackathon, we talk about our community challenges, the resources that are available to you, both on our end and on our SK's end. You know, we are really excited given the number of registrations and we, we're really excited to see what's getting built out there over the next couple of weeks. Uh, thank you so much, Brandon, for joining. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for joining our live stream. Uh, do you have any questions? Uh, is uh, any, anything one million walls related? It's uh, time for you to throw them out right now, and I'll try to address them. If there are any? Yeah, yeah. Any questions, thank please? You. And then we can end it here and let you start building early. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, uh, I think someone has posted the link to uh, joining uh, the next webinar, which is in about half an hour from now. That will be for the SQL stream. So for anyone who's interested in the uh, SQL stream related bounties um, or building a Kotlin class B endpoint, uh, that is the place to be. So please go ahead and uh, get yourself registered for that and come back in uh, half an hour. Amazing. Let's wait a couple more minutes if we see more questions coming out. What uh, What are you guys most excited about with this uh, with this uh, campaign? Oh, yeah. I I Is think if we um, if we see a lot of dashboards, uh, you know, I think that's uh, what we see in the previous one million dollars hackathon. Uh, but what, what's interesting, as you said, uh, is that we've got this SQL stream for the first time. So I think, if correct me if I'm wrong, this will be the first time that a class B endpoint is potential. There's a potential for that to be built um, outside of the uh, like outside of the scope of Kotlin employees. Right. So it's the first time a third party can actually do one of that. Um, and also. I think it's a, it's a nice it, it forms a nice bridge uh, like so a lot of a lot of people who come here uh, to to you know blockchain hackathons they maybe are D app developers and and they're well versed in that space but this is a good um, opportunity for someone who's like more into RDBMS um, and SQL and you know uh, HTTP servers and REST URLs like all, all that sort of thing um, if that's your forte then you know there there is a challenge that's like perfect for you to participate in. 
So I'm excited to see that side of things as well. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, people building uh, on class PM points from scratch will be the most interesting part of this hacker line. This is definitely the first time we're trying this out. So I'm really excited to see what's getting built out there. Yeah, I think and, maybe... and I previewed, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry. No, no, go ahead. Oh, I, I previewed the, uh, the mm. well, the challenges will be announced on specific dates throughout the hackathon, right? So I previewed some of them and yeah, they, they look super interesting. Like, I, I hope that everyone who participates, you know, gives it a go and, you know, like it's super accessible. Uh, just, you know, like, I think that's, that's uh, you know, true to the name of 1 million wallets, right? Like that many people using wallets and if they're on RSK, I'm happy. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So in, uh, in, in sort of you guys kind of highlighted a few things and, and, and Brandon on our end is, uh, he's, he's kind of like a, a mad data scientist. He's got all sorts of, uh, exciting things uh, brewing up with, uh, our, our first time ever SQL stream that we're going to be launching. So, uh, for those of you in the, uh, the community who, you know, enjoy using SQL and, and want direct access to the database. This can be the first time we're trialing this in the hackathon setting where you can build these, these custom endpoints. So that's going to be super exciting. The uh, localizations in, in eight different languages, that's the first time we're trying this too. So uh, really excited for that. And um, as you as you mentioned, Brendan, the goal is to make this as inclusive as possible. So if you can't commit to the, the entire hackathon, there, there are those community challenges with bounty prizes that uh, you can uh, take part in uh, and it's very low low commitment. So encourage everyone to try something. There's, there's something here for, for everyone. Do we have any more questions coming out? I think we're good. Okay, cool. Okay, well, thanks everyone for joining our live stream. Thank you, Brandon, uh, yeah. for landing us. Looking so forward to it. For, for everyone who's registered uh, it, with the uh, with Zoom to attend this, uh, you'll be getting a, a POAP for uh, participating in this session, and we have POAPs for each of the events that um, people are, are participating in. So. Uh, collect your badges. Who knows in the future, you know, there may, may not be, I can't confirm or deny, but if there are airdrops, um, those who have these, these badges would be first in line for, for anything like that. So there's a, there's value to, to having these. All right. All right. All right. Thanks Seek anything so much, to wrap it up or that's it? Yep, let me wrap it up. Thank you so much, Brendan, for coming in. Thanks, everyone, for joining our live stream. And we can let you start building early in this case. All right, have All a right, nice good luck. Of good luck, everyone. Sure. For those of you interested good in the, the, the SQL stream, we'll see you in, uh, in just uh, under half hour here.